This is the new Outlaw lever action in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It's an aftermarket part for the Bass B that has over 3,000% damage. So you know the deal. Let's take this lever action in game, max it out, test it in the tier 3 zone, test it against Mega Abominations, and even test it against the final boss, the Red Worm. However, first we have to unlock this amp by doing weekly challenges. So first we've got to get 300 kills with Deadshot active with the recommended Marksman Rifle and 200 kills with Jug active with a recommended Marksman Rifle. 200 kills with Jug. 300 kills with Deadshot active. Now we gotta get crit kills with a recommended pistol and kills with a legendary weapon in a tier one zone. So headshot time. Yeah, the thing about a Kimbo is it's gonna make it a little bit harder to get headshots, but uh, we're in too deep now. All right, and just hit fire at head height. Yeah. Oh, nothing better than a Kimbo head. You know, Kimbo head's hard to get, but when you get it, oh, and I'll stand by that. I'll gag on that hill. Oh, there we go. 200 kills with a legendary weapon in a low threat zone. <sighs> headshot time. Boom, 250 critical kills with a recommended handgun. And finally, for the last challenge, we got to get 10 special kills with a recommended marksman rifle. And that guy totally just stole that from me. Buddy, you can have all the zombies. I, I just, I just want the manglers. Oh, okay, clear across the map for a different exfil. I just want bosses exfil. I could care less about the zombies. I am only here for bosses like that. Oh, can't really see the disciple, but we're still shooting it. Safe to say there's a lot of bosses here. Holy, and a lot of zombies. No, all my bosses. Can't take that mangler from me. And they did. <gasps> oh, no, he's dead. <gasps> Is it a disciple? Holy. Another one. Watch, I'm going to get it right as the expo leaves. Oh, dang it. Watch, now that the expo has gone, the next one I kill is going to be it. Boom, there we go. 10 special kills with a recommended marksman rifle. Weekly challenge completed. Now we just got to get out of here. Here it is, the Jack Outlaw 227 kit for the Bass B. The benefits of this are massively increased fire rate when you hit fire, massively increased damage, more bullet velocity, and more damage range. Then the negative side effects, you're actually going to shoot slower when you ADS, and it's going to take longer to ADS on top of that. Uh, excuse me, dog. So this completely changes up the Bass B. It makes it a lever action. It looks like a Bass B, but when you go to shoot it, it is, it is not the same, not even remotely. So we go to ADS and shoot. One, the iron sight's completely different. Um, and it is now single fire, and this is the fastest you can shoot it. So kind of fast, but interestingly enough, when you hit fire, you can shoot it even faster. So now let's see hit fire. Oh, it's also full auto and hit fire. Oh, so there's hit fire. And then if we ADS, yeah, night and day difference. So this is going to be a weapon you really want to hit fire if you want to get that maximum damage. Because when they say they increase the damage on this weapon, um, th those are the damage values. That's how much they were increased. That is, uh, that's a lot of percents there. So um, I think this potentially could be a really good weapon as long as you build it for hit fire. Because you don't want to be shooting like this. Because see how slow that is. You want to be shooting like that. And it, it doesn't matter. If you ADS or hit fire, you get the same damage. One of them is just way faster shooting. Honestly, the hit fire build we have, pretty accurate. As long as you're close range, um, I, I think this is going to be actually a really good weapon. Oh, and we got to reload. Might want to have mags of holding too, because you only get a 20 round magazine. So when we pack a punch, it, we're going to have 40. So this is going to be a weapon where mags of holding benefits it greatly. Why does Gun have built-in death effects? So, oh yeah that is that's definitely a death effect it's like a giant eat, their body disappears too see but if i do it watch not that zombie yeah this aftermarket part just has random death effects oh no i'm not gonna unpack that let's go kill a bounty let's pack a punch this bad boy oh honestly the spore contract might be really easy because you gotta be close range for these anyway full auto hit fire dude i'm so glad this is fully automatic and hit fire um yeah i, I want speed call pronto gone Pardon me. Oh, ask and you will receive. Ask and you will receive. All right, let's go kill this bounty. Oh, mimic easy. I mean, even hip firing at a long range, it's pretty doable with this aftermarket. Okay, okay. Well, as soon as I say that, I start missing every hip fire. I still think even with the inaccuracy, hip fire builds are going to be the way to go. You just want to play aggressive with it in zombies. You're going to get up like this. Like we have it built for fast speed. And this can one shot in tier three. I don't know. This is going to be pretty fire. The only issue is going to be taking down mega bombs because you need to be somewhat accurate for that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait. Is he already dead? These are unpacked, Craig. Keep in mind, normally when we take down a HVT with an unpacked weapon, it is a struggle. But that was 
not. Let's do another one for good measure. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna I'm need this car, yeah. Give us a harder HVT. Although, we're in tier one, so it's not like it's gonna even be possible for it to give us a disciple. Aha! Come on, follow me. Let me take this one out by myself. Ooh, I just wanna see the damage. Oh, and of course. It, dude, for unpacked? This is chunking. Hey, look at that. No! All right, I weaken him, Craig. Give me pack. Give me... Oh, dead shot recipe. <laughs> Off to find the pack. The wonderful pack of Oz. There's no way these built-in death effects are perfect. This is definitely a future bundle. Of the... It's just the weird... It's weird that it's random. All right, pack a punch machine. I hope it's tripled, even though I know it's not going to be. Come on. Nope, just a 40. This is a weapon where dead shot is going to make a night and day difference. It is frying through tier two zombies being pack a punched once. Ooh, a disciple? All right, I'm down. I'm down. It's disciple hunting season. I'm just glad this aftermarket part is different. It feels like the last three we've got are just like LMG aftermarket parts. All right, ADS to shoot the hand. I forget it's no longer full auto unless you're hip firing. So it's like a weird swap between... Okay, this is... No, this is not doing well. Mainly because you got to be accurate when you're shooting a disciple. Oh, no, I'm not. It's great at killing the disciple's minions. Want to get up close and personal? Oh, well, that's just cheating. Why is he... Dude, he's... Now he's starving on us. <laughs> Bro, stun on us. Oh, now now it's over, bud. You messed up. You were stunting too hard and got stuck. Really hard. But look at... What the... Yeah, kind of helps that the disciple got stuck. Too bad we can't hit crits on it because um. I have can't. one, two, three. There we go. Quick revive. Oh um, do not like this for grunts. Oh no. This this is not a good bot weapon. All right, get the key card. Meow. Oh, free essence. All right, don't mind if I do. All right, zombies, I'm gonna need you to chill. Uh, I actually don't have a decoy. I don't have a self revive, but I need perks. Oh, yeah, it turns out pack one. Uh, not very good in the tier three zone. Come on, a few more perks, a few more perks. Uh, da -da 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 oh, I didn't buy... I bought tombstone instead of jog. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, we outy, we outy, we outy. All right, a couple cells. Okay, boys, hop on the whip, hop on the whip. I'm getting us out of here. Off the Dokubi's tower. Wait, I'm... Someone did start the fight. Dokubi's not in a normal spot. I'm hit firing Dokubi from up here. Oh, wow. I'm just trying to... What the heck? Did the bomb drones come for a second? Huh? Yep, uh, yep, 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 they do. Okay, well, before we go fight Dokubi, let's max this bad boy out. So, legendary ether tool, tier three pack. All right, Dokubi, you ready? Oh, wait, we, do we even need to get... Hold on. I mean, I was going to jump and storm, but... Why need to when we can just hit fire? Oh, this is actually kind of working a little bit. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it! What you going to do? It's okay. It, it did not do near as much. I was getting some good shots off. It is not good for elites. Oh, man. It's like a three shot headshot. Ew. Ew. Why does it take so many shots against elite? Oh. Oh, wow. Um, dude, this is this is going to be rough because I really need to be close. All right. I, one, let's res docs. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to take it down. Just being aggressive on Dokubi. We all just got to go be aggressive. Be aggressive. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, that kind of worked. Not a good weapon for Warlords. Oh, I got a ray gun case and a pack one crystal for next game. Let's go. Okay. Well, I guess while it's maxed out, we might as well go to the tier three zone. So that's the best part about taking them down Dokubi. You can just kind of slide right to the tier three. Oh, actually, you know, before we go there... Oh, let's check out some storm color. So when it comes to uh Dokubi, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this weapon a two out of ten. Oh no. Oh no. Did I put the tool on it? Is this maxed out? Oh, is storm color bugged out? Okay, storm color is bugged out, which honestly might be what we need because this is Oh, he's chunking. Actually, not too bad for storm color. The zombies around storm color? Uh absolutely nothing. Oh no. Okay, storm color. Not really a fair fight because he stood perfectly still for us, but we take we take the wins where we can get them. All right, now to tier three. And hopefully it can kill tier three zombies faster than what it was doing to the zombies in the storm because if that's... Whew, it does one hit tier two zombies. Now, the real question is, does it do that anywhere in the body? Oh, I guess we'll never find out because tier two zombies are extinct. Now, that's a real person. I have seen more real players in the tier two zone than I've seen zombies. Th there's one. Okay. Hi, buddy. The last tier two zombie in existence. 
Yeah. Oh, and tier two? Doesn't matter where you shoot him. It's an insta kill. You you could do feet shots if you really wanted to. Oh, well, I wanted to fight zombies first, but um, you know, when uh when you're presented a mega abomination, you take it. All right, base damage is not good. Oh, he's gonna spit, he's gonna spit. Decoy, please activate. <laughs> Wait, he didn't spit. Oh, someone threw a nade in his mouth? No, he ate my decoy. No. I heard him gulp and I'm like, why, why did he just swallow? Did someone I'm like, he ate my decoy? Oh, well. Well, uh. Can you just teleport? No, the guy came here with a flamethrower. Well, the flamethrower is hot enough. But, Good to know. Uh, we didn't get to shoot him in the eye at all. All right, please. Please. One shot at tier three zombie. That's what we really need. Even if it has to be like an upper body shot. It's a two shot. Oh, yikes. Oh, no. Yeah, there's full auto weapons that shoot at extremely fast fire rates that can two shot zombies. And this is, um, oh, if you ADS, it's so bad. What about headshots? Maybe, maybe if we hit a headshot, maybe a one shot. No. Wait, wait, is it a one shot headshot? Wait, was I just missing before? I think it actually is a one shot headshot on non armored. Oh, uh, non armored. Well, yeah. Craig, I'm just asking for the bare minimum here, all right? Oh, it does. It is a one shot critical kill. It's like a three shot for fully armored zombies. But aim for the noggin, they'll go down in one shot. Not really crazy helpful, but. Oh, it's actually a two shot for a fully armored zombie. Two shot headshot. That's the thing is you might shoot slower when you ADS, but you can hit that headshot every time. Okay, it is growing on me a little bit. If you're really close and you're hip firing towards headshots, it's pretty effective at killing zombies quickly. It's just kind of dangerous. What about a disciple? Come on, 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 come on. Gone. I still want to see what it does to a mega bomb's eyes. Mimic. I hit those headshots every time. Yeah, ammo's also an issue. Oh no. Yeah, um, I'm gonna see what happens if I back myself into a corner. Can it? It got him. <gasps> there it is. There's our mega bomb. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's actually doing kind of okay damage now. Oh, he's gonna spit. He's gonna spit. How many times? How many shots to take to break it? Only three. Although, even though we broke his eye, it didn't even do that much damage. Come on. Come on. Oh, is he going to spit again? Oh, reload, reload. Break another eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go down before he breaks. I'm going to go down before it breaks. Holy. He can't even hit me from up here. What are you going to do? Okay, you can. What if I'm in the back? Of the corner? Oh, yeah, you still can. Oh, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Yeah, Docs, they wouldn't let me climb. There's like a fake mantle that I kept hitting. Well, I still... What? I... What? Okay, that, that corner is a death corner. I can't mantle up. Sure, I'm going to get in the... I'm going to get... In. This is where I want to be, in the back of the truck. Yeah. Docs, I found a safe spot. They're going to throw meat. Docs, kill him before they throw the meat. I can't break. Of course, the eye that's not broken is the one that's outside of the reach of the van. He's just going to keep spitting. Whew. Honestly, truck strat OP. I don't hate it. I will say, after using this tier three, I don't hate it. I don't love it either. It does seem like it's just a lot of RNG because for you to hit the max damage this weapon, you really need to only be hip firing and hip fires got to spread. It's not like even if you are the best aimer in the world, you can't hit all of your hip fires because there is a big circle of where the bullet can go. Like it, you're kind of up to RNG for it. But when the RNG is hidden and you're hitting headshots for all these guys, you're taking down zombies really quickly. But then when the RNG is not hitting and you're missing, it gets a little bit dicey. But yeah, look at that. Oh, and reload. Oh, I don't know, but it's fun and unique. I like unique aftermarket parts, ones that are completely different. And this is, I mean, I can say it's different. There's no other gun in the entire game that's even remotely like this, where it shoots faster and hit fire. All right, enough playing around. Mags of the holding. <laughs> 400 bullets. Mangler. Yeah, at distance, this weapon loses a lot of its DPS just because you kind of have to ADS at range. This weapon is meant to be up close and personal, which is what kind of scares me for the worm fight because the worm fight's not up close and personal. I'm gonna break, break, break. All right, it's holding, it's holding its own, it's holding its own. Yeah, mags of holding helps a lot because this weapon does not have the quickest reload speed. Bye bye, Mangler. Uh, where's the back of a truck when you need one? Yeah, I'm getting headshots of the wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, spit on me. You won't lather me in your saliva gone oh and the zombies go with it all right the more i use this the more it's growing on me it's growing on me a little bit it's still not you know the best weapon in the entire game it's still not you know a top five weapon but it's enjoyable and it's really good sometimes when the rng be hidden gone 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 
gone. You have a feeling we're going to need multiple self revives for this worm fight. This one is not going to be one that we want to do without protection. Don't mind me looking to get another self revive out of my way, dog. All right, off to the worm fight. I think there's a chance it's okay with the worm. Sometimes there's weird weapons when they're quirky that they do good against the worm. I'm not, ex I'm kind of expecting it to be trash. But I think there's that really weird random chance that it might. I don't know. Eh, we'll see. Probably going to be garbage, but. Oh, no. I'm going gonna, gonna to be late to the fight. No. Hi, Doc. You ready for this fight? You ready to win this? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the, there, there's an expo over there. You're going to leave that early? The worm probably won't even spawn before that, I guess. Craig, I don't think you understand. This weapon's going to be so good against the worm, it's going to three-shot it. Woo, so quick at killing this big horde of zombies. It is it is frying. Woo! Love relying on hip fire RNG. All right, Docs, you ready? We got this. All right, worm time! Ah! Uh, that's great for killing the orbs. I mean, it's it's actually not bad. No! Or he's lasered me twice already. Oh, great. Dude, he's hitting us with the cheapest combos. Oh, I wish this had an underbarrel flamethrower to get rid of the zombies. That'd be so nice. Oh! Keep my body out of your mouth. Oh, uh, well, I was under... Bro, I was cheating. I think I'm slowly losing faith. Don't, Docs, because I got ya! This is the most aggressive worm fight I've ever been a part of. All right, well, I got a hundred... Ah! Bruh. He left the stadium. That's not fair. Bruh. What is this fight? I've never seen him this aggressive. What? This is the most aggressive I've ever seen the worm. Part of the issue is, is it's... So, oh, my God. Dude. The issue with it is it's not very good at killing the zombies. That's its biggest struggle. It does not kill the zombies quick enough. It does okay damage to the worm. Not the best, but not terrible. Dude, if he swallows me one more time. No! Okay. Well, this was a fun social experiment. But uh, I'm cheating. Yeah, uh, I'm not losing the Exville streak in this operator, and this is not happening with this weapon. Luckily, the VR-11 still absolutely broke for taking out Grey Worm. All right, zombies, can you go away? There we go. Woo! Okay, that was totally done only using the lever action. So is the Jack Outlaw worth unlocking? It's really up to you. It's not the strongest weapon in the game. It's not terrible either. It can get the job done. And sometimes when RNG be hitting, this thing does fry. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't know. It's just a fun weapon to use. I'd personally unlock it to use it for a single game with. I'm probably not going to use it again after this video because they're just it's fun but it doesn't really do anything special that makes it stand out at least that's my opinion on it and as always here's the build we're using the video keep in mind this is spec for hip fire this is the laser we had the sawed off stock obviously we had the conversion kit the phase three grip and then the breacher device l muzzle if you want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to like someone thank you for watching have a great day peace they're lego gonna throw me unlocked. he's lego Fox unlocked throw the meat. it's going to unlock Kill all of these Camus.